Erica, right here, according to authorities. And take a look down here as well. Look what we found. Part of the memorial that was put in place here, over a dozen candles that are still here at this scene. Now, as we reported, police say that the vehicle that these bodies were found in was parked kind of awkwardly right here, not really on the side of the road, but also not really in the road. <laughs> August 6, 2011, April Alston found out her son was allegedly murdered. It was the worst day of my life. Police say her son, 27-year-old Iroquois Alston, and 22-year-old Rakita Smalls were shot and killed inside this car. It's been like hell. Since then, the Alston family says it has been haunted by the unknown. We're just like, every day we're going and like, we're just clueless. I have my days. You know, when I wake up in the middle of the night and scream. No arrests have been made. I went over and beyond to make sure that this is not a cold case, that this is just not a young man that got killed and, and that's it. Authorities hope offering a $50,000 reward will help bring someone with information forward. The family says it also needs closure. I'm kind of numb. I'm glad that they put out a award, but that's not going to bring them back. I don't think it's going to make a difference, but hopefully it does. And if it does make a difference, I felt like they should have did it earlier. We have contact information for authorities on our website. We also have information there about the reward that is being offered. That is News12.com. In Norwalk, Sarah Hagen, Mobile 12.